Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of the UIU for You. I'm Jason Stewart, your support specialist, and today we're going to be doing an MDT install walkthrough. Uh, you can obtain the UIU for MDT uh, from our website, uiuforyou.com. You can click on the support link. Uh, since the MDT tool does use the SD technology, click on the SD support request. Uh, and you will find a tab here for UIU for MDT download. Um, at this section you can enter in your credentials that you have received from sales. Uh, if you do not have credentials, you can go to the UIUSD for MDT free trial page, fill out the corresponding form, and it license certificate will be emailed to you directly. The license certificate will contain the username and password needed to download a free trial of the UIUSD for MDT. Uh, on your license certificate you will find a username and password. Enter those into this field here, click Submit, and you will be given a zip file to download that will contain uh, the entire product. It is a little bit big. Uh, it's going to be somewhere on the order of 8 gigabytes, so you may want to consider using a browser that can resume file downloads such as Firefox. Um, Chrome will also resume uh, downloads as well, but you have to keep the browser open. When you expand the zip file, you'll find a number of files in there. One of them will be the UIU DT.msi, this MDT EXE setup. You'll also find one driver dat uh, here for the sake of this um, video I have in uh, I'm including a driver dat that has a minimal amount of drivers for the sake of this example what we're gonna do here is install the MDT uh, so you'll be presented with a nice little hello screen here click next uh, view the user license agreement click next here ready to go it's at this point that it will ask for your license key um, you're going to grab this from that same uh, UIU license certificate. We'll also include the license key. Enter it here. Click OK. Uh, next it'll ask you where you would like to put the UIU repository location. Uh, this can be local to the server machine. You could also put it to any UNC path you want. Uh, the important part is that this location is going to be need to be shared. Uh, over the network. So if you are uh, putting it locally to the machine, you're going to need to share this file uh, and give it a UNC path if, uh, if that's what you would like to do. Uh, I'm just going to install it locally and I'll create the share once it's done. This particular section here, um, well it's installing, is normally going to take longer. Uh, as I said, I'm using a, an, an example dat that doesn't include a whole lot of drivers. Normally this process would take you 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most. Uh, once the process is complete, you can click close here. You notice that it also began the UIU updater. Uh, this is where you would come to check for updates uh, to the product, both driver databases and uh, software packages. Uh, we have also included uh, the ability to import um, driver databases if your server is going to live in a, in a situation where it's not accessing the internet. Um, this gives you the offline support to update as well. You'll have to contact uh, us here at support in order to get a single driver.dat um, file that you can use to import here. Next thing, now that it's installed, we're going to open up the deployment workbench. Um, also, I will show you quick here where it installs. Uh, the UIU installation uh, will be installed to the program files x86 UIU uh, and because I chose to install the repository to the default location that is also included in this area as well. Um, this is where if you do install it here you're going to need to set this up as a share. I've already set this up as a share uh, so this is where you would need to add one and make sure you have the appropriate permissions for whoever is going to need to be accessing this. Uh, okay, so uh, once you have your deployment workbench open, uh, you're going to navigate to your task sequences, and here's where you will find uh, how to add the UIU. Uh, 
for a, a task sequence that's already been created. Um, just come to your task sequence here. You're going to add it to the post install area of your task sequence, um, either in place of the direct, uh, inject drivers. Um, and we have this neat little drop down here, UIU machine configuration. You'll add it here and this is where you're going to need to browse to the UNC path. This can't be um, you know, a, a, a local drive. We're just going to do lab serve UIU repo. Um, in the event that you need to have a, a, a different account running to access this share, this is where you can add that. Um, and there's also an option for signed drivers only if that's a thing for your business. Normally you want to leave this blank unless you specifically have a reason to check it. Uh, and additional command line arguments are here for support reasons um, in case you need to use a custom folder or um, any other support type uh, instances where we're helping you to troubleshoot. That's what this area is going to be for. Um, and that's it. Once you click apply here, uh, this task sequence will be ready to be used. Uh, of course, you'll just want to update your deployment share, and that one should be ready to go. So that is the install for UIU for MDT. Thank you for watching.